here I am. Hello. Blessed Tuesday, everybody. Excited for another free training in here. If you're here, say hi. Just a few moments tardy. <laughs> um, this new Facebook Live is like, it's interesting. So if you're here, say hi. If you're catching replay, just say hello as you're coming on. How is everybody doing? Hope you're doing really well. Um, full transparency, I am on my moon right now, so my energy is like a little bit lower. Um, hello, Carrie. Thank you so much. So happy to see you. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of chilling with it, and um, I felt like it was so important. Like part of me wanted to cancel <laughs> because I just feel like my energy is lower during this time of the month. But then part of me also was just like, no, you know what? I get to show up in whatever energy I truly am in. You know, I don't have to be in like high energy to be able to share, you know? And that's been a big, big healing for me. Hey, Terry. So it's kind of just embracing, you know, the fact that like we don't have to be perfect and we don't have to be like professional or whatever it is. We get to just show up in our, in our energy if we want to, you know? So hello. Um, okay, so today I'm really excited, by the way, I hope you love my new quote here, <laughs> um, Shakespeare, of course. So that's what this is really all about. And this live stream today, this mini training is for you. If you are feeling like you're overwhelmed in your business and you are struggling to understand on a very core fundamental level, you know, how to just create simplicity in your business, right? It's for people who feel overwhelmed. Okay. Hey, Cassandra. And really, honestly, this is for everybody who has a business, um, who really just wants for their business to be more of a home for them, for their soul and more of that place where they just genuinely feel like they get to just be themselves, okay? And so it's kind of like a different paradigm of business. And this is so timely, and I did this on purpose because we are building up to the new moon in Taurus tomorrow. I know that a lot of you posted your Taurus placements, and I love that, and it was so fun to kind of just get to know who are the Taurus people in here, what do you have going on in Taurus? I have Mercury in Taurus, um, which is something that I've learned to really like appreciate I think that I do speak a little slower <laughs> than I used to allow myself to you know I like to take times with my community take time with my communication that's a Mercury and Taurus thing but this new moon in Taurus coming tomorrow tomorrow evening right it's it's about starting a new page it's about resetting our energy and really allowing ourselves to clear away any clutter in our business, okay, since here we're focusing on business. So Taurus, one of the virtues of Taurus, which I teach in my programs, is the virtue of simplicity, okay? Taurus really is about what you see is what you get. It's just like simple Um, the opposite sign of Taurus is Scorpio. So the opposite energy of that is, it's not so simple, right? It's complicated. Um, my North Node is Taurus. And that means that for me, this is my life lesson to learn to let things be simple and to learn that things can just be, right, easy. They say that people who have the North Node in Taurus, what they say is you're off the hook in this life <laughs> because, um, you know, your past life experiences in Scorpio were very uh, complicated. So that was a major thing for me to learn. And that's why I'm so passionate about this work. Um, I'm so passionate about helping people to embrace the simplicity. And regardless of your North or South Node, I know that for a lot of highly sensitive, highly gifted spiritual women, we tend to overcomplicate things and we tend to 
make things harder than they really need to be a lot of times and especially in business where there's just so much information and there's so many different ways and we just want to do our best and we just want to succeed and it's hard to discern it's hard to know what the truth really is for ourselves right so that's what this is about um every day i strive to let my business be more and more simple because simple is potent okay so remember i was saying that the virtue of taurus is simplicity the virtue of scorpio is potency so they're really two sides of the same coin right the more simple something actually is the more potent it really is the more potent it's it's medicine so that's what this is about i really want to make sure that um through this process while we're working with like amazingly intricate and profound uh spiritual and cosmic concepts right we really want to bring it down to earth and my mission is to help you understand your astrological uh map right and and all of the things that this amazing gift gives us but for the purpose of actually embodying it for the purpose of living it and so this new moon to me is is a time where every year right when there's a new moon in taurus every time the sun and the moon are together in taurus once a year right we get this reset we get this initiation right into our next level of simplicity our next level of embodiment and that's what this is about right so one of the things that i'm really going to encourage you to do for this new moon is to take a good look at your business right now and really just do like a little audit like a check-in and really just ask yourself is it simple and is it pleasurable for me right are the things that i'm doing at whatever you know level you're at in terms of business whether you're at the very beginning of building your business or you're already you know serving lots and lots of clients and branching out and you have a team it doesn't matter is it pleasurable right because simple is pleasurable as well right taurus also rules simplicity uh pleasure and enjoyment and you know just having that fulfillment so you know you might want to just write down all the different moving pieces and the things you're doing on a daily basis in your business and also just your feelings and experiences in your business and really looking and asking yourself like is this actually pleasurable to me and is this actually working for me right like is this serving me is this what i want to be doing right and some parts will probably be like yes and some parts of your business might be like no right and that's just a great thing to look at today while the it's the dark moon okay so the dark moon is a time for releasing that's the energy that we're in right now um it's like a letting go energy so that is what's happening right and so we can just kind of align with that right we don't want to be necessarily building something right now we want to be going with that cosmic flow and letting things fall away as needed right it's like a shedding time it's like taking out the garbage time right um and really get a good holistic look right at the day-to-day -day, everything you're doing in your business right how are you showing up so i just want to say hi if you're here i like to have it interactive and <clears throat> just say hello let me know how you're feeling if this is resonating with you and maybe you just want to share you know an intention for this new moon tomorrow what do you want to like call in what do you want to start for yourself through this energy and then based on that like what do you really just want to let go of right we just want to like focus on the fact that in order for us to really embody our next level of simplicity and pleasure we have to let go of certain things right hello thanks guys hey kareen hey amelia hey leah welcome so happy to see you guys so if you want to share you know like do you have an intention no pressure or anything like that 
Um, for me, you know, it's an ongoing thing because with my North Node in Taurus, I'm always consciously, you know, wor like not working towards it because that's the opposite. <laughs> that's not the point. It's like I'm learning to like just lean in and like let things be easier because I do tend to expect for them to be hard and for them to be messy and complicated and things like that. So every day, you know, I'm like, let's let's see how easy this can be right let's let go of some baggage um, for this new moon you can also take a look at your chart and see what house is being activated let me just double check the degree I think it's three degrees of Taurus I'll just look at my calendar yep three degrees of Taurus so look on your chart see where that is um, oh my my screen yeah um, and then based on that, you can get a deeper insight into what is, you know, what area of your life you might want to simplify a little more, bring some more pleasure and presence into an embodiment. Okay, so that's just the intro. Um, and today I was so excited to share with you the cosmic foundation of sustainable success. So what is sustainable success right that's important to understand and that's something that i've really been thinking a lot about lately ever since especially since the pandemic but i've always been interested in that that's like kind of my thing um it's something i'm just really really passionate about not just in my own business but like as a consumer as well um i think my herbalism background really informed that so I just want to read the comments. Cassandra said, my intention of allowing my business to bring me pleasure and allowing simplicity and potency and letting go of overcomplicating things, thinking my business to be hard. Yes, exactly. And so the key here is then looking at where you're overcomplicating and making it hard and actually letting those things go, like taking the action, right? So um, we don't we don't want it to just live up in the realm of theory, right? And we want to do it, do something about it, right? So if you know that you're engaging in drama or you're like spending time doing things that actually make things not pleasurable for you then you need to just stop doing those things and you need to replace them then with a more pleasurable thing okay so taurus moon activating your fourth amazing so um the fourth house cassandra with this you want to really focus on your your self-care rhythms and your um, your environment and decluttering your environment as a supportive um, measure to outside in you know like your home space should be really really aligned and supportive in um, creating an internal space of simplicity so Korean said tricky one find pleasure in grounding and simplifying the truths I'm uncovering within myself and my role through this next phase eighth house yes so eighth house is Scorpio right so it's kind of complicated <laughs> tricky um, and always keyword with eighth house surrender right just surrender we don't need to understand it necessarily um, thank you for sharing so what is sustainability? Sustainability in business to me is about truth. It's about understanding that what is true will sustain itself. And that's simplicity, right? So sustainability means just quite literally that it is something that can last for indefinitely in terms of its relation to other things so we don't want to build our business in a bubble or in a vacuum from anything from our lives and you know our other commitments and roles and things like that but also the whole you know what I'm saying like our business is part of something bigger and when we create and show up and do things from us from a place of self-love and truth and like genuinely from the heart what that 
does is it enables us to fulfill our unique role in the whole. And that's sustainability, meaning we don't need a lot of external resources and um, yeah, we just don't need a lot of external resources then to do what we need to do and to run our business. And I'm not saying that you won't need resources and help, but it's more so about um, creating from within and not necessarily looking outside of ourselves from answers for answers right we we want to have support but there's a really big difference between getting support and getting um answers or like outsourcing our truth and things like that and the reason this is so important is because how we do one thing is how we do everything and we have to understand that our business is part of a marketplace and is part of a, a larger uh, you know force in this world in which we are the the ones living the, you know what I mean and we are the ones who through our consumer actions and as business owners you know business actions right we can become really powerful agents of change and how we do one thing is how we do everything right so if you run your business in a way that is sustainable meaning it is coming from inside of yourself and therefore its fuel is joy and love and you know um all of the things from inside of your soul um then that's what you're going to be sharing that's what you're going to be spreading in the world and that really is sustainable for yourself personally on the individual but then also collectively okay so this is like a bigger vision thing but Leah said, the message of simplicity is speaking to me. I feel like I need to go, let go of overcomplicating my life so I can welcome that simplicity in. My midheaven is Taurus, sun in Scorpio. So this is a struggle all the time. Yeah. So one of, I just want to say this, Leah, or Leah, um, one of the most powerful ways that we can actually release the struggle is through language. And this is something that I've been playing a lot with as I'm learning NLP, you know, um, using words to affirm the fact that we get to let things be simple, right? So like I've started to really notice when I say something like, this is so hard, like my luck, you know, like I used to say things like that, like very unconsciously, I'd be like, it's such a struggle, you know, things like that. But that was one of the things that I have been consciously letting go of and replacing with words that affirm the simplicity. So I just felt like I should share that. Um, because you don't want to identify with the struggle, right? You want to identify with that which you wish to embody and create. So, you know, depending on which house it is for you, um, oh, it's your midheaven, okay. So, yeah, think about, you know, what you want to actually be building and creating and how you can affirm that through actions and through um, repetitive actions. So, Kareen said, oh, Wait, I read that already. Okay. Yay. Okay. So that's what sustainability is about, right? So here's the thing about this is when you really start to understand and embrace this, you know, um, a lot of things start to fall away in your business in terms of a lot of unnecessary energy expenditures, such as certain beliefs, certain um stories and thoughts right at first starting within yourself and then that trickles out into certain actions right so you don't need to be doing a million things that's over complicating it right you just need to do a couple of things in your business and do them really well and that's the truth of it okay thank you leah i'm so glad you resonate with that um so first thing is to choose simplicity and to say you know what I don't care what everybody else is doing and I don't care how much noise is out there. I'm going to come into my business every day from a state of grounded simplicity. I am choosing to create an experience that is grounded and clear, right? And that's the gift of Taurus. It's to be able to stand like a tree. You know that scene in Lord of the Rings with the Ents when they're like attacking the tower and you know the they release the dam and the trees like stand really firm and the, the water doesn't knock them down 
So it's that kind of energy of Taurus where it's like you really stand firm, but it's a choice that you have to make. But how do we do that, right? You don't want to build a business that's a house of cards. So you want to build your business around the certainty within. And the only certainty within you is that to thy own self be true, right? You can only ever be certain about what's inside of you. And that's the gift of astrology is that it shows us the truth of who we are, you know, after having gone through 30 whatever years of learning otherwise or being essentially taken out of that and kind of being taught to be something that we're not. Right. So we want to we don't we don't want to build a house of cards that is very difficult to do. Have you ever tried to actually build a house of cards? It's like really hard because it keeps falling down and then you have to keep picking it up again. Right. We want to build a solid foundation for our business. Then we can stand on it. Then we can come in and know, OK, here's what I want to focus on and here's what I'm doing. And everything will align with that because it's all coming from a place of I know this to be true, which is the only thing we can ever know to be true, which is who we are, right? But that's the only thing that is actually like the least taught and emphasized, ironically. (laughs) So I've said this before, you know, you've come here to master yourself. You've come here into the mystery school of yourself. The problem with a lot of business programs and approaches is that they are based off of what works for somebody else and it's teaching you somebody else's path to success and process to success and yet you're not that person, right? So I'm going to get into now these foundational pieces through astrology as to what you need to know about yourself to then create this foundation, right? so that you can grow and build this really sustainable structure, right? That is simple in that it is rooted in your truth and it's rooted in who you are, right? So as you're doing your audit, you might notice that you have certain things going on or certain actions that you take or beliefs that you're carrying that They're just not yours and they just never were and you just took them on because you thought that that's what you needed to do to succeed, okay? So I have my notes here. Um, Wait, where? Okay, here they are. Okay, so the first thing about this, and this is all in eminence, by the way, this is the exact process. Um, I'm not going into the energetic foundations today, which are really important. Um, more important than these pieces even, but the energetic foundations really go hand in hand. Um, Having a solid energy foundation is the most important thing. But today I really wanted to talk about the business foundations. Um, Again, you know, in, in light of this new moon, building a solid foundation. And honestly, yes, sometimes what this will mean for you if you if you really take this to heart and really look at it will be a little bit of recalibrating and it will be a process of going back to the drawing board um but it will be worth it if you're building a house of cards and you're finding that every couple of weeks you're starting from scratch again or that things are not sustaining themselves like for example you know you're making sales but you're not actually enjoying the whole process or, you know, it's not a whole whole fulfillment experience. It's like certain aspects of it are burning you out or certain aspects of it are just not working for you. That's what we really want to look at. So the goal and the whole, like what we want and what we're striving for to create and what is totally possible for us and I'm living proof of that, right, because I'm doing that right now in my business, is that we get to experience the whole thing from start to finish. It gets to be easy because it's natural to us. And we like all the parts of it and any part that we don't necessarily like, right, we get creative about making it work for us. And we could talk about that another time. But 
Okay, so the first key for this, the first foundational piece about this, and this all comes from your unique success codes. This all comes from your chart, really understanding yourself, right? The first thing that you really have to have in place is, and don't hate me for this, but it is knowing your true soulmate client and knowing who your ideal client is. However, that needs to be based on your truth. It needs to be based on who you are right and your what i call energetic effect okay so a lot of people first of all don't even know who their ideal client actually is or they they have this idea of an ideal client that is actually not their ideal client it is a form of either a um a reflection of Again, something they've learned about who they need to be to succeed in business, and that's the basis of their ideal client. Or, in the worst case scenario, it's actually um, their worst. Their it's uh, it's a manifestation or an expression of their worst fear. <laughs> okay, so what do I mean by that? It means that if you're not choosing an ideal client based off of who you truly are you're probably choosing an ideal client and again a lot of people just don't even know who that is and don't really have clarity around that but if you're not choosing it based off of your codes what you are likely doing is you're basing it off of something that you that is outside of you and that you've learned to be a rule about how you need to succeed in your business so this core foundational piece right first of all we look to the moon for this as one of the pieces um but this core foundational piece here is i think of it truly as like the the central like heartbeat of everything you're doing in your business right your marketing everything you're doing if you're showing up right you want to be sure that you're showing up for what you want and who you want to be showing up for you. So it has to be intentional, it has to be conscious, and it has to be, again, aligned with who you are and in your most natural state, okay? So that's the first part of this that we have to really understand. So drop a one if you feel that your understanding and your image of your soulmate client drop a one, right? If you feel that that is an area that you really are ready to claim and really, really ready to go to simplify, but to go deeper with for yourself, because you understand that right now you either don't know exactly who that person is, or you just feel, and you can just tell that you're not really calling in the soulmate clients who are the most natural and easy and pleasurable for you to be working with. So drop a one if you can sense and feel and you wanna take ownership of that and you're like, yeah, that is an area that I definitely want to strengthen and I want to master. And don't have any shame around this because I'm telling you, there's people who've been in business for years and years and are even generating a lot of money and they still don't even have a really solid understanding around this. Or again, they're, they, they have a person, they have an ideal client, but it's not really ideal. <laughs> okay. Yes. So through these um, codes that we work with, in eminence and by the way this is exactly what I want to be looking at with you if you decide to do a free session with me to talk about joining eminence without pressure anything like that but really just to see if this is the program for you if this is the thing that you need and have been looking for to finally master these foundational components because once they're locked in it's very easy to grow it's very easy to attract the clients it's very easy to get everything else in motion right but again if it's a house of cards and if you don't know and if again you're calling in that wrong person even sometimes slightly um 
essentially like Anais Nin says, when one is pretending, the whole body revolts. So if one aspect of your business is not really aligned to your soul truth and to your mission and your role in the whole, your whole body, meaning everything is going to revolt to, to keep trying to nudge you to the right path for yourself, which is your truth, which is just you being the person that you came here to be. Okay, so take me up on this. I'm not a hard seller. I'm not going to be like, you need to join. It's just a genuine woman to woman conversation in which I will tell you if you're ready for the work in this program and you can tell me what you're struggling with so that I can either give you a resource on the spot or, you know, invite you into the program so that you can finally just get this you know, mastered so that you can move forward. There's no reason that it should be so complicated and hard, right? It's just that that is the norm for whatever reason in our industry. I don't know why, but that's the gap that I'm here to fill, right? So, so the first thing is that ideal client. You really need to understand you can do this by yourself. You can really figure this out by yourself. But again, if you want more simplicity and ease and pleasure, you have to start asking yourself, how am I welcoming that in my life, right? Am I resisting support? Am I making it hard? Am I thinking that I have to figure this all out for myself? Because you really just don't. You know, the one thing I really re like wish I would have done a little bit differently is that I wish I would have opened up to deeper support earlier on. And I wish I didn't think that I had to figure out everything like oh i have to figure out instagram and i have to figure out like i just hired an instagram manager and she's just big she's just doing it for me because i don't need to figure that out you know that's not part of my genius so i just let it go um so you know just putting that out there the second thing that you really need to under have as a solid foundation is your signature offering which is really more so about the transformation that you are here to facilitate with that right soulmate client. You really need to understand on a deep core level, how is your energy, how is your effect, right, applied to the life of this person to create an, an, a transformation, okay? So there's a whole process that we work through with this to really break that down and really, again, coming from the simple nature of who you are, already right now right it's not about changing who you are it's about taking who you are already and really optimizing and leveraging that to to understand the transformation that you are naturally able to facilitate with your soulmate client okay and um that whole process goes into all of your codes but um we look a lot into um kind of like the whole effect of who you are and the person who needs you and, and really understanding your gifts and your journey through that way, right? Like what is it that you can do for a person? You know, you have come here to do something really special and different and it's not that hard to figure it out. It's just a matter of focus and it's just a matter of choosing that clarity and choosing to see it and trust it and really, the secret of this is that you have to feel worthy of that power and of that pleasure. That's what it really comes down to, right? So Taurus also rules worthiness. And that's why I said before, the energetic foundations are more important than any of this. Because if you don't feel worthy of the joy and the pleasure and the ease and the flow and the simplicity, that having these things in place will give you then you're then you will continue to overcomplicate things okay so the third here the third foundation is your business model okay so it's really 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 important that you have chosen intentionally a business model that is aligned and that makes sense for you as a person and your lifestyle right and who you are right so this is so important, right? Many people, I think they come into the coaching space, they come into the business space and they just see, oh, that's working for this person. So that's going to work for me. That's not true at all. That's the biggest trap. The truth is that 
if you're building a business model off of what works for this person, some people that will work for because they're probably energetically and lifestyle very similar to that person or they can fake it for a while but it's not going to be really sustainable. You want to find the thing that's going to be sustainable because it's just who you are. It's an extension of who you are and it's how you roll naturally. So we look to the sun for that a lot and we look to understanding which business model is going to, again, become that, sh that, that structure of the house that you're building, that temple that you're building, not because it works for that person, but because it works for you. Right. And that is one thing that I just don't think is spoken about enough and I don't think is intentionally chosen. Like, don't choose. Don't do my business model because it's working for me. Right. Maybe it would work for you. We'd have to look into that. But. It it's about, you know, seeing it for what it actually is. And again, the simplest thing, the lowest hanging fruit, the path of least resistance is always going to be the thing that just feels the most joyful and natural for you. And so choosing a business model that, again, you feel at home in is so, so, so important because what happens if you don't is, again, it's unsustainable and it will cost you in some way. Um, and the fourth thing is, I love this one, um, it's your company culture, right? So you really need to be conscious about the environment, right? The environment that you're creating for yourself in your business. Are you intentionally building a solid foundation around your values, right? Values are ruled by Venus. So we want to understand who you are. What do you actually value in your heart and soul? And are you building your business around that? Because guess what happens when you do? you thrive, you rule, you lead, you know how to show up and you imbue those values into everything that you do. And then you create something that truly is from your heart to the world. Your business becomes your gift to the world through that. And the people who resonate will find you and will choose you over somebody else, let's say, because you're actually building your business in a way that aligns with your values. You have values for a reason, right? Are they being expressed in the business? Because if they're not, I promise it's costing you. It's a fact. Okay, so those are the four things. Now, inside of Eminence, the really powerful thing that we do is we also work with the elements of our business. So there's the four elements in the business that need to constantly be activated in order for things to keep going, okay? Um, but there is a fifth element to all of this. And the fifth element is you. Mm -hmm. It is your soul and it is your excitement and joy and passion that brings everything to life, right? So I've studied a little bit of alchemy and, um, you know, one of the concepts is that the four elements, right, when you put them together, you create the five pointed star, and that's called the quintessence. The quintessence is the fifth element that that literally is the spirit. It brings life to everything. And that is the, the most important foundation that we have in place. And that's actually what this whole thing is, what we just went through, what we just started talking about is the quintessence. It's about bringing that into your business and understanding that when it's all unified through honoring of the self and through building the business around your truth, that action, right, in and of itself becomes what activates everything. So any strategy you choose, right, we want to choose strategies that align and we want to choose things that feel fun and natural for us, but anything you're going to end up choosing to do is going to work because your whole being is in it. Okay? So um, I have a call in just a few moments. Um, if you do have any questions, please drop them. Maybe I have time for one or two. I'm really inviting you, if this speaks to you and you really understand what I'm talking about and you get it, um, and you know that you want to build a sustainable business and you want to not just make sales and like get clients and things like that, yes, we want that to happen, but we want to know how that's happening. We want to know 
how sustainable it is and consistent and long term and again what are the costs and things like that and what's the ROI in, in terms of not just money but everything um, and you've been in this for a while either it's working for you but not 100% or you're really just not sure of where to begin to actually go this route of sustainability and you just feel like you know what I've done enough digging and, and looking for myself and, and complicating for myself, I'm ready for support, then just reach out to me, maybe drop an emoji or whatever. I'll circle back. We'll get on a quick call. Again, no hard selling. I will just literally look at what's happening from the elemental standpoint and from this perspective. I will give you the insights that I see are happening. I will tell you how eminence can support you and then you decide if that's what you want to bring into your life if that's the kind of support that you want right it's super simple um so that's what i'm putting here on the table that's what i'm here for i want things to be simple in my life and business and a big part of that is just learning to say what i want and you know and not feel that i need to um that you know that it just it can be that simple right and so if that's something that you really you realize you need to learn and, and do for yourself then that's what you need to start saying yes to more right anything we want to experience outside of ourselves, we have to first say yes to it and make space for it inside of ourselves. okay so this was really jam-packed i hope you enjoyed if you have any follow-up questions of course tag me thank you so much for spending time and for valuing this and prioritizing this and, um, you know, I'm getting all these notifications of wins of women in eminence, you know, in just a few short weeks, they've really, they've started selling. And again, it's not just about selling, it's about how they're selling. Um, some of them were already selling, right? So they're, they're shifting their whole um, experience in their business to be more true to themselves so that they enjoy the whole process, right? Oh, thank you. And Cassandra's in there so she can tell you. Um, you know, some it's just amazing to see what happens when, again, you activate the quintessence, when you really understand that it's really simple, right? You just have to actually be true to yourself. And life will continue to guide you towards that, sometimes through difficult things, because it's all just trying to get you to be who you're here to be, right? And so when things feel overcomplicated and, and hard and a struggle, what that means is it's your soul telling you that you need to go back to the basics. You need to go back to who you are and you need to start honoring that and truly all else will follow. Okay, so if you want to um, take me up on the free call, if you want to get more information about Eminence, I'm so here. Um, I'd love to have a conversation and I wish all of you a very blessed rest of your day and week. Thanks for being here. Bye.